Well, hello, and welcome to a another bit of a dra damp and dreary day here in beautiful Nova Scotia. We've had a, a, a day's rain, but a day's rain that's been needed actually, because uh, we've had some beautiful hot weather the last few weeks. So you can't beat a bit of rain every now and then in the summer. You can't turn that down, especially as a as a gardener. So I'm in the greenhouse. It's early morning before work, and I was looking at my dahlia cuttings. Now, I don't know if you remember, about a month ago, I took some cuttings from my dahlias that were growing, and I took a couple of cuttings that I, uh, I'm on the video, and as you can see, we've got some nice growth coming on them from the top, and at the bottom, there's a few roots coming through. So, it's about time I potted them up. I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with that. Both of the dahlia cuttings that I took have done well. Quite funny, not, I, then I took a, another video of uh, the Cosmos and unfortunately, um, the Cosmos cuttings I took, I let, um, it was a particular, as I said, it's been particularly sunny recently and I, uh, I, I left this out in the blazing sun and uh, it, it ruined most of the cutting, so only one of them has taken, but you know, one's better than none. One free plant. And the rest of the greenhouse is, is looking pretty good and lush at the moment. As you can see there, the tomatoes in the centre bed here are coming on an absolute treat, growing beautifully up the canes there. And I've got basil intertwined in between. Behind on the side bed there, I've got more tomatoes and uh, I've still got a load of tomato seedlings that I've got to get rid of. And on the far right hand side here, you can see this, what, what was a volunteer tomato. And look how tall it is with lots of trusses of flowers and some tomatoes setting on those trusses. So we're uh, pretty pleased with that. That's for this time of the year, June, what are we, mid-June. Got to be pleased with a tomato that size and with tomatoes on it. But back to the case in hand. So we've got these dahlia cuttings and we need to pop them up now and separate them so that they can grow on a bit. And hopefully we should still get um, some actual flowers out of these dahlias if we pop them on and let them, let them grow nicely. So let's get them out of the actual, um, this is the tricky bit, out of the actual pot. And as we can see there, look at that, look, lots of, Roots growing there, that is fantastic sign. Fantastic sign. So I'm just going to break this up carefully between the two. It shouldn't be too e difficult. Look at that. Right. Now, these actual pots that I've done up are not big enough, are they? What else we got here? Yeah, that'd be big enough. So, this is all pretty simple. I, you know, more I wanted to see you that, you know, by taking dahlia cuttings, um, they're quite easy. I didn't do anything other than put these in a nice shady position um, and kept them nice and damp. And look at that, look at that beautiful growth there. So, all I'm gonna do is put this in here. And I've got some nice fresh compost here. Some of my own compost mixed up with some, you know, uh, brand compost. Beautiful. And we're just going to fill that up. Nicely. It's very pleasing. I mean, this is one of the best things, um, you know, as a gardener, to be able to grow or take cuttings and uh, plants from your own cuttings, you know, free, and then within a few months, this is going to be flowering. Fantastic. Oh, I've broken that leaf, unfortunately. Right, there we go. There's one. Get another need another pot 
I'm using all my pots for um, peppers and this size pots for basil. So I'm running out of pots at the moment. But these aren't going to be in these pots for long. I'm going to give them another few weeks of growing on in the pots and then I'll be putting them in a, either a proper pot or out in the garden. And like I said, they should, they should flower this year. And then I'll look to try and keep them over winter. I've not been very good these last couple of years at keeping the plants over winter. So if anyone's got any good tips on keeping them from rotting, which is what's been happening with me, I thought I'd kept them in a, in a cool enough place. But, you know, and I don't, you know, and that's one of the bad things. I don't really want to be buying dahlias every single year. I should be able to keep them nicely. Right, there we go. Two dahlia cuttings for the use of. I'm going to give them a good water now, even though this compost is absolutely soaking, because I just literally got it from off the compost heap. Um, yeah, there we are. Two dahlia cuttings. Look, nice little bit of growth there. They should grow on nicely. And I've got some... Another three I took a couple of weeks ago. And they look like there might be a little bit of growth in there too. So hopefully they'll come on and um, I'll have them for a bit of late season colour. Free plants. Jobs are good.